Hey guys, my name is Simpsy. Welcome back to some more FIFA 16 career mode. We're playing as Real Madrid, so let's get straight and right back into it. Right, first things first, guys. We're going to put Imbolo through the training runs again. He gets a, an F, a C, a C, a B, and a C. So over, overall, not too bad, but obviously we just want to improve his stats overall. So then his overall rating will increase. Instead of focusing on one specific um, attribute, you're better off up, uh, trying to simulate all of them. And trying to get um, just his overall rating up. Obviously, it will increase his price, which would be absolutely fantastic. But, guys, we've got a huge, huge development happening. Sergio Aguero, within 16 matches, has scored five goals and three assists. He's got a 7.0 rating. He arrived for 72 million. Now, Embolo has played 16 games. Scored five goals and three assists. So he has two more assists than Aguero. Apparently, he's got a 6.8 rating, which doesn't make any sense. So, I've made the decision. This isn't permanent. Nothing is set in stone, but I will be giving Imbolo the first team position. I don't know what it is, but Imbolo is just he's just better at, with Sergio at the moment. Now, whether or not they'll change, I'll probably give Imbolo three or four matches so, um, to... To prove himself, but we have a match here against Iber, and then later on in the episode we have a match against uh, Getafe. Gareth Bale is currently the top goal scorer. Tony Cruz is pushing up there with the assists, and David De Gea, arguably the best goalkeeper. I've never felt so confident with a goalkeeper in in goal. He's absolutely superb in my Manchester United and in my Real Madrid. So we are playing at Crown Lane, a small stadium here today. Let's see how Imbolo performs, but. It's obviously not a bad thing. Obviously, competition uh, builds brilliance. <laughs> but Cristiano Ronaldo there running down the wing trying to create something. But it's it, I, it's so good to have those options of Imbolo and Sergio Aguero. It's just fantastic for the overall, overall football club itself. Imbolo couldn't quite get to the head of there. Gareth Bale still trying to hold position. Gets it wide to Marcelo. He goes a little bit ambitious, but it was a quickly nice saved grab. But Hammers Rodriguez on the ball trying to find Imbolo. He pushes through and Imbolo, my God, he's officially scored more goals than Aguero. We picked him up for 14 million. He is just an animal up front. I don't know, obviously, Sergio has been playing the big sort of games. Imbolo has been coming off the bench. Um... And obviously he's playing against these weaker sort of sides. But I, I just don't know what it is. I can just score with him so easily. And it's just absolutely fantastic. But Sergio Aguero, sorry, um, Ronaldo here breaking away. A little bit ambitious. Probably had a little bit more time to correct the finish instead of going for the, the lob. But Tony Cruz on the ball. Manages to get back outplayed to Gareth Bale with another throw in. Neymar back to Danilo. Whips it into Mbolo and Mbolo. Polo was only just shy of De Santos there, getting it clear. But Hammers Rodriguez on the ball, determined to get further up in Bolo. My God, absolutely sensational. But you got to give it. You got to give it to him. He's only 86 rated, 87 rated. I can't quite remember off the top of my head. Nearly unluckily denied there. Neymar with the cheeky chip. But, uh, yeah, we'll, we'll give Imbolo a bit of a run in the first team. We'll see how he performs. He's already scored a goal in this match. If he hits the ground running, as Neymar does here, absolutely superb finish to make it 2-1 to hopefully seal the deal for the victory just before the 50th minute. Absolutely hammers it home past the goalkeeper, and we celebrate in front of the travelling fans as a team. Absolutely fantastic, even though the media is sort of in the way there. But Imbolo with a superb play. And he made that fucking play. He passed it to Gareth Bale. Even though Gareth Bale held it up and played it to Neymar. And Neymar absolutely killed it with his right foot. But Imbolo was instrumental. I just I can't believe just how much of a fucking animal he's up front. If you guys have FIFA 16 career mode, definitely buy Imbolo. Uh, let me know in the comments, players you'd like me to sign in January. I'm going to be running through uh, Mbolo through the training runs. Once I've done that, we'll probably go with Kearney and maybe some of my other youth players. I'll probably only will do it for a month just to uh, save it around. But Hammers Rodriguez, right-footed. I don't even know how that go uh, went in. I'm absolutely th befuddled with the fist. The no oh, fuck. With the fist, fist, thump. Th that's it. <laughs> okay, fist th thump. <laughs> I don't know why I said. Fist, it's the th it's the fist thump. <laughs> Bloody hell, that's what the celebration is fucking called. Anyway, Hammers Rodriguez absolutely belts it from just shy outside of the box, 
And we're 3-0 up here today. But on the counter-attack, Tony Cruz puts in Mbolo. He cuts back inside. Still in a very dangerous position with the scoop turn. He keeps on going. And Mbolo makes it 4-0 away at Iber at Crown Lane. Just before the 55th minute. Now he scored two more goals than Aguero. He's just absolutely embraced Madrid life, and he's an absolute goddess. <laughs> oh, God, not goddess up front. Maybe there's something in Bolo's not telling us. Regardless, we do have another match against Getafe coming up as well, but that was his sixth goal in the La Liga. Now Danilo on the ball, pushing up front, finds Gareth Bale and Bolo to get the hat-trick, but unfortunately was denied. Modric on the ball. Finds Cristiano Ronaldo with the finesse. Very, very unlucky not to score there. But we are versing Iber, or Eber, I think that's how you pronounce it. They're currently sitting in the bottom three positions, and the most likely will get relegated. And I don't even know how some of these goals are going. And absolutely ridiculous. Danilo scores probably one of the goals of the season. He shows the crowd. Not Danilino. Danilino, yeah. I think Danilino sounds better. But Modric with the back heel, just outside the box. The right back absolutely fucking carves it out. Look at that. Top right as well. Nice dipping animation to make it 5-0 at Eber. But Ebolo picks up the man of the match. 8.9 with two goals and zero assists. Modric and Cruz picked up the other two. But now I've made the decision to stop training in Bolo. I want to give some of my youngsters. So we've got Kearney from Ajax. The... Czech a Republican man picked up a D, a D, a B, A, and a B. So overall, not too bad. Beach your man and El Rondo. I think El Rondo's defending. I can't remember else, but he's picked up a plus three. He's put a 50% increase since joining the club. <clears throat> and where are Getafe sitting in the table? Not in the top seven. Ruben Castro is currently the top goal scorer of the La Liga, followed by Bale. And Tony Cruz is still up there with the assist. So I'm still going to give Imbolo this first team position. <clears throat> we'll see how he goes against some of the bigger teams. But hopefully, we'll, we'll see how he goes. He scored two goals already. I'll probably give him maybe, I don't know, two, three more matches. If he keeps on continuing to scoring, it's just unlucky for Sergio. He just it, I don't know if it's as well that we're kind of spreading... Like we're not in these matches over the last couple of matches. We haven't been lacking goals. That's the thing. It's just been coming all around the pitch. And Danilo, I don't know where he's come from. He's become like what, just a crazy goal scorer. He's probably nearly scored as many goals as Sergio Aguero. But I don't know what it is. If, like, I've done this Real Madrid career mode two years now. This is the third year. I've always signed Sergio Aguero because he's just such a fucking animal. He's absolutely fantastic. The Getafe goalkeeper couldn't quite get it clear, and Danilo actually just absolutely fucking thumps it into the top right yet again, and I really don't know how there. <laughs> nice tiki taka football, and Danilo just hits a screamer. Mind you, we are we do have a superb team, and we are versing Getafe, which I wouldn't even be surprised that the whole team is not as, even as worth as what we paid for Neymar. But Mbolo there was very unlucky not to score. As I was getting to the point, maybe I'm being a little bit hard on Sergio Aguero because Diareth Bale has been scoring. Like I'm not going off at, I'm not really substituting Ronaldo because he's not scoring. Speaking of Gareth Bale, he makes it two 0 just before the 52nd minute. And him playing in that cam role, he actually pushes up to a, a sort of a striker and sits just behind him, which is absolutely perfect. Tony Cruz, even though he's picking up most of the assists, but Gareth Bale, just look look at the run he makes here. He's, he's meant to be playing as a cam. <laughs> absolutely superb. Smacks it against Getafe to make it 2-0 at the Santiago Bernabeu. But guys, we are coming to the end of the episode here. Thank you very much for watching if you watched all the way through. I really do appreciate it. Please like and subscribe if you haven't already. Like me on Facebook. Follow me on Twitter and Instagram. All links in the description below. And let me know in the comment section down below. Is Mbolo in or Aguero out or Aguero in, Mbolo out. Let me know in the comments. Rafael Varane seals the deal in the 90th minute. At this point, it was no more than a co consolation goal. We're absolutely dominating Getafe. And which we will. We'll dominate probably the, the bottom the bottom half from five in the league. Obviously, Valencia, Bilbao, Barca, uh, Atletico Madrid. Sorry if I'm missing a couple of names, but they will probably really challenge us. Apart from that, we should be winning quite comfortably over these other sides, and that's just the nature of the La Liga. But I'm going to end it here. Thank you very much for watching. Have a fantastic rest of your day.